Sure, so I hope that you all can hear me okay. My computer is crashing. So um, I do apologize for not being on video. Um, again, hope you all can hear me okay. Um, Samantha Varela with American Honda, Supplier Diversity Specialist. I have been with Honda for 14 years now. I co-developed and launched the Supplier Diversity Department um, at American Honda to um, help grow adoption and, and make sure that in our sourcing process, we were creating opportunities for diverse suppliers and small businesses. We accept, and Marlene, please cover your ears, but we accept almost all certifications, including self-certification. Um, that's something that um, we've been working on for quite some time with our legal department. Um, some of the goals that we have for the 99P would be our tactical spend program. That is a program where suppliers who don't have mobility experience um, or they're a small business, there is an opportunity for projects that they can come on board um, that are less than $100,000, but it gives them an opportunity to learn our culture as well as providing um, smaller projects that aren't too risky uh, for the business for, for those that are new. Um, and we purchase all goods and services on the indirect side. That's the side I support. So think of anything that does not go directly on the vehicle. Fantastic. Thank you, Samantha. And I know we'll learn a little bit more about that in our breakout room. Um, and of course, we have to get a Jean-Pierre, JP, as he liked to, to for our casual friends. But I wonder what company he's from. Hey, everybody. Um, there's something magical about him. <laughs> something magical. I don't know. Maybe it's the background. Hi, I'm, I'm JP, and I'm a manager of supplier diversity with the Walt Disney Company. I came to Disney in 2018, where I started in sourcing and procurement uh, for Walt Disney Imagineering. I uh, got to work on a lot of contracts for our research and development team, as well as our show team, which is bringing new attractions to the park, um, or all parks worldwide. Uh, October of last year, I joined the supplier diversity team. Um, and let me just backtrack. Prior to coming to Disney, I did 20 years in the United States Coast Guard uh, doing uh, procurement and sourcing for them. Um, so seeing that difference between how the government uh, selects their sources of supply and trying to see how we can mirror that uh, with Disney. We have a long way to go, um, but with the announcement last year uh, from Bob Chapek, the company is committed to uh, reaching $1 billion in diverse spend by 2024. And uh, we are more than halfway uh, on track. So uh, I know we will get there. We do have a lot of work ahead of us, but with a big company like ours, we should be able to reach that and or exceed it. Um, as far as certifications that we accept, we do accept all certifications except for self-certifying. So NMSDC, NGLCC, WeBank, uh, Supplier Clearinghouse, um, and even we will accept um, state or local certification. Um, and um, yeah, that's, that's it about us. We work in a wide, wide variety of uh, areas. Um, I forgot to touch on that. So it's not just our theme parks. We have our uh, film and production, um, our cruise lines, uh, products, and then now also streaming as of you know a few years ago. So a lot of uh, a lot of areas, a lot of commodities that we uh, touch on. Great, thank you, and this fantastic goal. And I know with we like to say with our help, we can help get there as well. That's what we want to happen. But glad. Uh, you're able to share that with us. So here's what's going to happen, everybody. Um, we're going to start. We're going to pre-assign. It's a pre-assign room, so you'll you'll get there. Um, once you're there, um, you can engage with the speakers. You just have a little bit presentation to share with everybody. Um, and this, when we come back around, there's an op opportunity for you to select somebody else. So if you want to go to another room, we'll do that as well. And there's a way to do it. Um, maybe Bianca, you can share when they come back how to do that. Uh, that'd be fantastic. 
Um, but let, let me also quickly just point out that some of the folks on this call with the same background as me, they're our staff, we're here to help. That's Taryn, V, and Bianca. Uh, Bianca's the brain behind uh, what we're doing today, and I'm just kindly following her lead. Hopefully, um, I do a good job as well. But any further ado, we're going to start the breakout session and have a good time. Glad you're here, Bianca. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. Well, let's get started because I want to certainly have some time to hear from you and, and what your companies do. But quickly, from a California American Water perspective, you heard the intro, uh, who we are, who our parent company is. I think it's important that you understand in California, the areas that we serve. So I'm going to scroll down and maybe make this a little bit bigger, the map here. Let's go to maybe 150 and then scroll over. That way you can see the map here. So we are spread throughout the state of California. From all the way down south here in San Diego, uh, we serve all of Coronado Island, all of Imperial Beach, and just portions south uh, of San Diego and Chula Vista. Uh, coming up the state, uh, we call, all of this is considered our southern division. So San Diego County, Los Angeles County, where we serve Baldwin Hills, Duarte, San Marino. Uh, we just purchased um, uh, East Pasadena. Uh, we're in the process of acquiring Bellflower. Uh, and then in Ventura County, uh, we serve uh, uh, most of Thousand Oaks is the larger one there. We did purchase where, uh, Rio Plaza in the process of purchasing Waring. Um, so that's more of our Southern division. Uh, then you get into our central division, which is Monterey. We serve all of the areas, pretty much all of the Monterey Peninsula we serve, uh, and as well as surrounding areas. Uh, we are looking to purchase Bass Lake Water. We did purchase Hillview. Uh, and then coming up the state, this is considered, all of this is considered our northern division from Merced County, Sonoma County, Yolo County, uh, portions of this, not all, but portions and then portions of Sacramento County. And I wanted you to see that. So in the event that you offer services uh, in certain areas, I like to zoom in on what those are because then I can certainly help you um, reach out and contact the appropriate sourcing people in those areas of interest. Because as I mentioned before, with us being divided into divisions, uh, we don't, you, you, I don't want to refer you to one of the divisional leads that you really have no interest in working in. Uh, but we serve about 725,000 people uh, through about 186,000 connections, water connections. Um, so I wanted you to see that just so you had an idea of who we are. Um, as I mentioned, I think in the opening comments, the bulk of our procurement is around infrastructure, uh, water infrastructure. So water mains uh, and pipes, uh, certain areas we serve, uh, we have, we get our source of water through wells, uh, groundwater. Um, so a lot of that is what we uh, acquire and need assistance with is around engineering, uh, civil, um, industrial engineering, so around engineering, project management, construction management. Uh, I'm trying to see my list of items here. I just got this from my procurement leads. I would tell you, if you could get someone to be, a, be in the well drilling business or well maintenance, you're going to hit a really hot commodity, or a hot service for the water industry as a whole. Um, but around, again, well, well drilling, new pipeline uh, installation, any type of treatment um, facilities or, or, or supplies. Um, I'm looking down the list here, any type of pump stations. Oh, SCADA, we do use some technology around monitoring our, our source of supply and the levels. Um, we can see if there's anything I missed here. We mentioned mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering. Uh, we do, and I know I'm, I'm speaking a lot about infrastructure related items, but we do utilize professional services. What's different for California American Water since our parent company is American Water, a lot of the legal services, a lot of the um, communication services, 
are really um, developed and really managed by our corporate uh, folks. Um, so I think I said a lot. I want to pause for questions uh, and then also hear from you and what your company does and see if I can uh, be able to work you through and get a fit for you somewhere in our organization. The other good news is talking with me, you're talking to really six other water utilities because I can also refer you to Golden State Water, San Jose Water, Cal Water, San Gabriel Valley Water, and Liberty Utilities. Um, I'm missing one, did I say suburban water? Um, so if there's interest in working with those companies, you can let me know that too. So what questions do you have, comments? <laughs> 